Hello everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to, well, any number of video editing apps. And here at MoviePix.com, we not only support video editing software, we also support the hardware. So we want to help you out and just make your movie making, your video making experience just as easy and as fun as possible. Now, the world has gone pretty much digital. There's very little tape-based video anymore, but occasionally we get a question, how can I access my old videotapes? How can I get those digitized? What's the best system for getting them in the computer so that I can edit them? And I've got actually about 30 years worth of video myself, so a lot of those are on tape. And I discovered this excellent piece of hardware that comes bundled with some software for capturing video. Now here's how it works. This is the device and you can see I've got an ordinary camcorder. Now this will work for a digital camcorder like a mini DV or an HDV, but it will also work with an analog device. That would mean a VCR, even an old VHS VCR or even an analog camcorder. All you need to do is plug it into the USB port. You will need these RCA wires because you can see that the inputs are feeding email so you need to have a set of RCA wiring to come from the device to your output ports and these are pretty universal here and then you just go to your camcorder make sure it's on VTR mode and you will operate using the buttons along the top of the camcorder or wherever your buttons are that's how you will operate playback now here's the device it's available on amazon.com it's called the EasyLink USB 2.0 you can see the current price as of 2019 is $28.99 so it's not terribly expensive and yet the results are excellent. The capture software comes with the device so all you need to do once you have your hardware hooked up is launch the capture player or the capture software and it is very important that you have it properly set up if you're going to edit your video on most major video editing programs. To set it up properly all you need to do is click the play button here in the lower left hand corner that activates the link between the camcorder and your computer so you can see I'm connected now and then go up here to the upper left click on the logo here where it says pot player go to video and from the sub menu select video recording and record video this is your option screen all you need to do is set up where you want your files to be saved and what name you want to give them Select for the file format MP4, this is fairly universal, and H.264 for the video codec. Set the bit rate. Now this you'll do manually. Generally for standard definition video, a bit rate of about 8,000 kbps is a good high quality bit rate. If you're recording HD video, 1920 by 1080, you go up to around 18,000 you're not going to get much higher quality by pushing the numbers beyond that. Very, very important that you set the frame rate. The FPS here, select 30. If you don't set the frame rate, you're going to end up with a variable frame rate. So you do want to set up a constant frame rate and you set that manually. Also to make sure everything is compatible, set your audio codec to AAC and set its bit rate to about 128. You can set it a little higher if you want. You're not going to get a big difference here in quality. Now I'm going to start my camcorder playing. And then all I need to do is press the start button here in the lower right hand corner. Once I do that, I'm recording. And with everything set the way it is, it's going to record at the originals resolution, which in this case was 720 by 480, 640 by 480. It's going to give you that quality if this were in HD if this were 1920 by 1080 video was going to record at that rate too. The quality is excellent it's every bit as good as the original tape and that's really all there is to it. This video will work perfectly well uh, whether you load it into I've tried it in uh, Premiere Elements various versions of Premiere Elements I've tried it in Sony Vegas and Vegas Movie Studio and I have tried it in CyberLink PowerDirector works great in all of those. It's a highly compatible video format and I'm quite happy with it. For under $30, a great way to capture or to digitize your analog or tape-based video. If you want to know more about this kind of stuff, drop by moviepix.com. we got lots of tips and tricks for you and our library of books will help you with any software you happen to be using. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again real soon.